Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Are you ready to get boring? That's what I think is coming up in the market. It's what we've been looking at over the last month and a half after a massive crash. We've gone down over 50%. And so unless we get a V-shaped recovery, I suspect we're going to go quiet for the next one to three months. But if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know that's what we have been anticipating and which is why I've always talked about stay with the market, whether it's watching my channel or Twitter or anything else. Just make sure you have a regular daily ritual that keeps you with the market. So you are going to be getting into the market when the, the lesser amount of people are getting in. So make sure you hit the like button down below. Give you a second to do that. Cool. Now go back down there and hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon if you haven't already. Leave us a comment down below with your thoughts of the market at the moment. Is it going to get boring? Am I on track? Do I think we're going to get that one to six months of nothingness, the boring period? So make sure you're ready for that. All right, let's dive into what I have for you guys today. We're going to look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and uh, possibly a place to store some of that stable coins if we are waiting for another good entry. So uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, definitely check that out. I'm go I went through a very simple, easy uh, Bitcoin purchasing plan, any sort of trading plan. Now that you do have to add some filters and exit strategies to it, but it is a fantastic video. It is actually urgent. Go and check out that video after this one. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. All right. So Bitcoin's at 680 billion, uh, Ethereum 292 billion. Remember, when we were a month and a half ago, or even sort of, yeah, about five, six weeks ago, Bitcoin was a one point something trillion. And we just could not ever expect it to go back under a trillion. And the total market cap was two and a half trillion. We're now sitting at one and a half, you know, around 1.6 trillion. And this could potentially slowly bleed out. We have our 50% points that we don't want to see it uh, uh, basically consolidate under. And from the previous videos, is around 1.33 trillion. So that's our 50% point. Uh, we're going to look at Cardano, which is at 49 billion. If you haven't already, go and uh, stake your Cardano with the TIA staking pool. There, are, All the details of that are in the description down below. That's our investor accelerator uh, staking pool. Done pretty well over the last couple of epics. What else do we have here? We got DOT, Uni, Litecoin, which has been absolutely garbage over the last six months, this whole bull run. Matic has been the standout at $1.80, but we have cooled off from that high of around $2.30, $2.40, just after the bigger high at around $2.60, $2.70. Solana is also cooling off back down to $29. Uh, Theta at $6.80 after it broke through $8. So my level was around $4 to $5, and it's hit that once. I'm not sure if we'll get there again, but at least it's a lot cooler than it was at around 14 bucks. Uh, the other crypto that I was looking at was around uh, was XMR, 281 now. So I picked it up around 260. We'll see how we go from there. And uh, FTT is a big one on my list to potentially scoop up at some lower prices. I want to see it a little lower, so I might get greedy on that. But otherwise, I'll keep watching it. I'll have my target set. FTT is the FTX exchange, and that's at a three billion dollar market cap, and it's it has the potential to take on Binance. Binance actually invested in FTT. So they're not trying to compete and take one another out because essentially they've invested in them. So if FTT does well, FTX exchange does well, then I assume Binance is also going to do well with their uh, with their investments. So let's look at fear and greed. We're down to 18. This plays an important part in the plan that we put together yesterday for Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin doing now? Where are we going? What's happening next? Extreme fear. Extreme fear yesterday. Extreme fear last week. We were neutral last month. And just a, a week before that, about five weeks ago, we were greed, greedy. We were possibly even extremely greedy. So the next update is going to be in 20 hours and 26 minutes. That's going to help you with the plan from yesterday's video. I know I keep saying that. At the end of this video, I'll leave a link to that as well. So click on that one, check it out. It's the actually urgent Bitcoin plan. All right. So we have Bitcoin dominance. We're following this to give us an idea of what may be coming next. Now, I just checked this because uh, if we start to see this move up, which we have seen our first swing, we've seen a higher swing low now. That's a bullish sign for the dominance, which means money potentially is going back into Bitcoin, less into alts. Alts might bleed a little bit. This has been the theory that I've had since we hit our 200% range of our GAN method, our GAN double top, one top, two tops, measure the range, 200% down. GAN said this over 100 years ago. So I'm not making this stuff up. This is what 
Gandid, legendary Wall Street trader. We are looking at the dominance. Uh, my next target is around 48, 49. Then of course, 50 is a nice psychological number. Just above 52 gave us our fib extension. So we're just anchoring that to the low, anchoring it to the high, now to the next current low. And the 100% brings us out at around 51 and a half. And 125% uh, brings us out around 54. So that's why I've got my alerts set here. So that is all leading into why I think Bitcoin may be having a, well, it'll dominate over this period if we get very boring. And there will either be reasonable gains in Bitcoin or as in, you know, Bitcoin doesn't go anywhere, but we're not losing money in our alts or in our uh, Bitcoin alt positions, you know, our alts against the Bitcoin pairing. And uh, all these little blue arrows were in regards to the video yesterday. So that is looking at a potential plan there. So if we do happen to break down from here, uh, again, this was part of the risk reward. So I'm not expecting us to be leveling out in the you know, 13,000s to 20,000s, uh, potentially a spike into these 24, 26K levels, which we saw some support on the way up. Uh, the, uh, the first thing, ne what needs to happen is, it is for it to break down past 30,000 and 28,000. So, you know, we've got to take one step at a time. And so far, I'm just seeing a higher swing low beginning to form, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. If it happens to be the low from yesterday, we've got some good volume. So we've got a good push down. We've got good volume on that day. And then all I'm going to do is use my FIB extension, anchor it to the low, anchor it to the high. Now, this is a short term move because it's only a daily chart. I like macro stuff. I'm more conservative. I want to go for the bigger time frames. Our short term view brings us up to forty four and a half thousand dollars. And if you've been following for some time, you know, our level is forty five K up close above forty five K. Then I am much more confident in Bitcoin holding that level and then it basically consolidating into a bullish position while we're below this level. It doesn't mean it has to break down, but it's not as strong as being above the 50 percent and the 50 percent is our top to our low and there it is 45k so that's that's the target i've got my alert waiting there it can show bullish setups under this target which is fine and just means that we'll have to wait a little bit longer to get the extra confirmation but overall i'm still comfortable with this uh, as per the plan i'm waiting for the fear under 15 and i'm just going to test this out give it another crack i like bitcoin in the 30s the downside isn't anywhere near as big as when it is in the 50s or 60s for obvious reasons and which is why I was not talking about or you know suggesting that I'm I'm not buying bitcoin in these levels there was a lot of talk if you remember from february march april may to be buying alt buying uh, bitcoin getting into the market yes we did have some good push ups in altcoins we did have some uh, good blow off tops and really good uh, profits to be made at these levels but it was the riskiest time so if profits weren't taken you know, it's uh, it, it's a little bit trickier now to be looking to take some profits. So that's why I was not talking about Bitcoin at these levels. But at these levels, I'm much happier. Even if we go down, I know the downside is less than buying at these levels uh, previously. And it's shown in the past as well. Ethereum is looking okay. Again, similar sort of setup to Bitcoin. We've, we've seen the higher low begin to form good volume on yesterday's down bar. That was like the big crash, the dump, everything's on. Maybe I'll put a title and uh, you know, put the title for this video, something to do with the dump because that's what everyone seems to be freaking out about. Although it's just 12% down from yesterday's close. And we know that this is a volatile time as the market has fallen 57%. And so crypto does 10%, 15% in a day. It doesn't really mean much. Look at the, the dump day. It was 27%. And that was the, the scariest day with a nice big bounce back. And then on the 23rd, the close was within the uh, the market sentiment changing bar. Like it just dumped again, couldn't get much further. Volume came back and closed in this price range. That's a good sign as well. So we're getting this swing here. Same deal. We're going to anchor it to the low, anchor it to the high. Next low, uh, my 100% now sitting at around $3,500. If it doesn't make this 100% range, then we're going to sit around 3 k and of course, we need to get back above this high as well. That's the next resistance point at uh, 2,900. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is my log resistance line, this, this light gray line. I'll take this off so there's um, less noise on the chart. And 
this is anchored to a major high, another major high which we've talked about in previous videos. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below, like the video up, hit the bell notification icon. Uh, so this is just updating the charts to give us an idea of what may be happening next. Anchor, 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 log resistance, hit the log resistance, dumped from that. I just picked this up from the last cycle. In 2017, Bitcoin went through a similar pattern. It kept dumping off the log resistance and then eventually it broke through and went parabolic from, I remember about 7K to 20K. So in terms of a return, it's not huge, but in terms of a dollar gain, it looks massive. So people start to jump on board a lot. So this could break through at 6K. You know, maybe we, we take a couple of months, we get into August or September, breaks through at 8K and goes crazy to 20. It's not that big of a percentage move, but it seems like that. It goes from four figures to five figures and, and retail gets absolutely excited just to make 50 or 100%, whereas we're back down here and we could potentially make 8X, 9X from this point, 10X even, um, you know, from here at 2,000, 2.5K. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying the returns are much better at these levels, even though it's the scariest time. Uh, last one I want to have a look at here is ADA. Uh, I've got a few more things to go through as well, but ADA's at $1.55. Same deal. These are the lows sitting around a dollar. This looks pretty decent, huge volume. We are starting to drop off with the volume as we climb, but overall the volume is still above average. So I'm not saying that we're going up from here but at least we're starting to stabilize and that is where this boring period comes in after yesterday's crazy dump of 8%. So that really got the market a little bit worried thinking we're going to go down further, but you can see we've got higher lows, at least the high closes, and this is just a little swing that we are expecting. You go up, you pull back, as long as the pullback isn't as far as the previous low, it's just profit taking. It's just normal market action. That's why you need to look at a chart. Even if you are looking at news and fundamentals, this will help you identify whether it's one of these scary bars or if it's just a regular pullback. So I've got a little bit of news on crypto.com and BlockFi. So if you do have stable coins sitting around, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it is, uh, these guys, you can put your crypto with the platform in the apps and get a return on your stable coin. So crypto.com is at around 8 to 12%. They've got a little bit of news here. They're going carbon negative in the next 18 months. So concerned about the environment, carbon negative. Crypto.com, other bit of news here is that they now support tax with Qcoin. So if you have the exchange Qcoin, you can now easily uh, get your tax returns or get your tax reporting done with crypto.com which integrates with it so check these posts out on twitter if you aren't already make sure you follow me on twitter as well so and follow some of the good guys over here got a lot of good channels uh, if you're not following me on twitter go and do that get yourself an account because i do post regularly on here as you can see and we discuss lots of stuff to do with the news and i um, update you guys with other thoughts i have around the market so make sure you get an account and go and sign up over here plus instagram daily q a's I thought I looked a little bit better than yesterday's Q&As right now because I got some more sleep last night. But back to this, daily Q&As, you guys can ask your questions and I'm getting back to them almost every day. You can see there's a billion stories up there. So make sure you stay tuned. Last thing is BlockFi. Now, they did send out 700 Bitcoin to wrong addresses and they're trying to get the whole thing back. As I've said in previous videos, it's not enough to scare me that the company is going to go under. They do have uh, a lot of investment that has come in. There's about 300 million they got. They just closed recently. And so if I want to diversify my stable coins, then I've got BlockFi on one end. I've got crypto.com on the other end. I've got Binance over there. So I can have a whole lot of different stable coins and cryptos earning me interest while I wait for a better time. I don't need to have my money in the market 100% of the time because in the market, the market only moves maybe 20% of the time and you can go back and test that on the charts. All you have to do is look here at a chart. When do you want to be in the market? You want to be in the market while it's moving from 16 cents to $1.50. And then you don't want to be in the market for two and a half months. This move only took a couple of months, right? And then it only moved again for about two or three weeks. And then you don't want to be in the market. So when that happens and we're taking profits to put profits somewhere, it could be in places like this. Now I'm not saying put all of it, but if I can earn 10, 12% per annum on some stable coins, why not? It's better than being in a bank account earning absolutely nothing. So for BlockFi and Crypto.com, I have the links to those in the description down below. If you get yourself set up, they have uh, also refer your friend 
interest bonuses as well. So you can then send out your affiliate link and earn yourself about 10 to $30 in BTC. Each frame will earn another $10 and you'll also get your referral uh, bonuses as well. So check those out. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for daily news and Q and A's. Keep following the charts, follow the channel, like it up, subscribe to the channel. You know the deal, bell notification icon. Thank you once again for the uh, watching and spending your time with me for the Bitcoin update, the actually urgent dump that we had to understand what was going on and uh, get your plan together. Now go and watch the video at the end of this one. I've got the link there as well. So check that out. But until next time, have more fun to get more done.